Hey guys, welcome back to Mother Tucker's YouTube channel. I'm Tina. I'm here today in Palmyra, Pennsylvania. Uh, we are close to Hershey, um, just outside of Hershey actually. And we are here at the Schoolhouse Antiques. See if I can get a picture of their sign there. Um, they are just off the main road here in Palmyra. Um, and it's been a little bit since I've been here, so I'm really excited to see they have an upstairs and a downstairs. So we're gonna go ahead and head in and see what we can find. Come on guys, let's go. Okay, walking right in the door, you can see we have a ways to go to the back. So we just started right inside. Um, the very unusual um, and different items in this booth, which I kind of like. I like the fact that there's unique and different things sometimes in booths because it means there's something for everyone and you can find, you know, whatever it might be that you're looking for if that's what you're into. So I, I like it, but I, I was definitely, I knew I was tight on time. So I was kind of like looking, but also trying to move quickly uh, to get to what I thought would be most interesting for what I was looking for. So in here, I did spot on the shelves. Oh, there's some Holt Howard cats. It's been a while since I've seen these uh, out in the wild or at, in an antique store, meaning out in the wild. <laughs> um, the squeakers did not work. They were priced at $25, which is probably close to retail. And that's okay, we're just gonna keep looking. So this booth was across the aisle. They had lots of littles, which you know, I need to go in and see exactly what they are. They were also running a sale, which was great to see. Oh, I like these glass kind of marbled um, candle holders. The colors were really pretty on those. They are marked Northwood. I wanted to just, I was very excited to just kind of get in here and see what was going on. So I'm picking things up and just like, what's this? What's this? <laughs> so I needed to kind of get it out of my system here a little bit. But this booth had lots, lots of variety, uh, really good, good mixture of things. This is a beautiful uh, glass. I love the opalescent blue on the rim and the bottom. Just beautiful. It had to be an older piece. Was marked at $39, but gosh, did I appreciate that. Moving over here. Ugh, I love these bunnies, you guys. Oh my goodness. They're like a hard plastic. There's a pair of them, so it was a boy and girl. They were an advertisement for a local bank. You can see the medallion hanging on them. And I was looking, I can't believe they still have their cottontails, right? That's crazy. Turning them over, they are marked on their back, um, the back of their neck, and they are dated 1969, um, which I just found incredible. Yeah, and they are banks. I just love this pair. I do believe the maker is Roy Dez of Florida. Um, I, I had a hard time making it out on the back of their neck, but at further research, that's what they were. At 49 for the pair, I still decided to, to leave them there for resale. I don't think there was quite much left on them. But moving right along, there's plenty to see. This booth had so many cool things. Um, I love this tin, lilacs and roses. Um, it was a talc tin. Super, super cute. Great display piece. Lots of littles. And whoa, what's this? Look at that face, you guys. I love this and it has its Fenton sticker and made in USA sticker and its original price what oh yeah this is coming home with me that you can definitely look for in an upcoming sale because yes I got it <laughs> back here I spotted what I thought was Van Bruegel and by gosh it is 
Um, this is a beautiful blue in the blue Ming color. It is marked on the bottom. However, it was just the one candlestick, and although it's a dual candlestick holder, um, it was an overall really good condition. I just was not confident in selling one candlestick holder. Um, it really should have been, I, I really was looking for a pair. So I did decide to think about that and put it back down. It's a pretty hand-painted ashtray that was signed on the back by whoever did that. Uh, this booth had great uh, variety, but a lot of advertising. Just some really cool, cool stuff. Look at all this up here. Uh, mainly cardboard, so most of this would have been thrown away. Just really neat stuff. Moving right along, let's go downstairs and... As I walked downstairs, there was a ton of booths, so I went straight along the back wall. This puppet caught my attention. He was really neat looking. Um, I don't know a whole lot about puppets, but I definitely appreciated his look. I think he had a chalkware face, which you could kind of see. There was so much to, to look at, just so many cute things, cute little dresser caddy or dresser jar there um oh wait a minute tina spotted jewelry of course i took a moment to look they had some really pretty uh pins in this booth i really like the detail work on that one that was very interesting You can see across the aisle here. So I was like, oh, let's see what's in here. <laughs> and definitely Tina was distracted today. I'm like, look at all this stuff I have to look through. I, I said earlier I was a, a little bit on a tight timetable. So I was trying to hurry but not hurry. This pig caught my attention. How cute is his <laughs> face he's a single shaker so I wasn't quite sure about a single shaker but I just loved his derpy little face there a cute uh cute bisque little boy and girl sitting there uh, this girl caught my attention I believe she's made in Japan but I believe she's some kind of maybe dancer I don't know but the colors on her and the detail work was really pretty she was very interesting there were lots of things on this shelving unit uh, redware glass just a great variety of different smalls so I'm going to take a moment and look through everything, you know, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But nothing was really grabbing my eye and catching my attention. So I continued along the side. She's really neat. Again, the colors for me is what does it. She was a belle of some kind. There were some books and some more pottery pieces. This booth looks like it had a lot of fun to dig in. <laughs> Unfortunately, sometimes it's not easy to dig while also recording. Um, this lamp, I really liked the stars on it. I've never seen uh, the glass shade have stars like that. It was very unusual. There were lots of fun things scattered about in this booth. I wanted to, again, I was like hopping the aisle. What's over here? What's over there? <laughs> oh, this caught my attention. Look at that. It, um, this is an old, um, I think it was meant to be a, like, mimic a cash register, but it was actually a bank, and I love the Art Nouveau style on it. So pretty, so detailed. There was a uh, deck of cards there. It said nude pinups. Um, I did not have somebody come 
open that case. So maybe when I go back, I'll have to remember that and look for it. <laughs> this case was opened, which is really nice. Uh, sometimes the dealers will do that when there's not smalls or real high valuable, you know, high end items. The Asian planters, I think, are always so cute and very kitschy in my mind. This person had a lot of linens and tablecloths. I love looking through tablecloths. Um, these were in excellent condition, great colors, great patterns, great subject matter. Um, so I did want to take a minute or two to look through these, see if anything really, really shouted out at me. Um, yeah, wow. And it was a it was a neat way to display these because normally there's a rack or something. So it was kind of cool that they just had a hook on the pegboard and you could look through them very easily. I love the way they displayed uh, their linens on like the hankies and the holder. They had some great stuff. I love this piece. The gold or I'm sorry, the silver foiling was wow, really caught my attention. The hankies, again, like I said, were so cute in the holder. And then they opened the drawers to this dresser and had stuff spilling out. I love when they do stuff like that. It just gives it a warm, inviting feeling. Like, open my drawers. Come look and see what I have hidden away. <laughs> of course, always making sure you're looking down. You just never know what you might find. These orange pieces caught my attention. They were earrings. They were pretty tangled in there. So maybe I'll come back later and see if I can't get them apart. Again, nice variety. Um, just walking through lots of decorative pieces. Look at this display. Is that not amazing? The thermoses, the tins, like that just... Somebody needs to buy all of it and display it in their kitchen like that, honestly. <laughs> the display was just really, really stunning and eye-catching in person. I love when people display things like that and you can really get a visual for what it could look like in your house. Some jewelry... This booth looks really interesting. Let's see what's in here. I see some kitchen stuff walking in. Oh, of course I had to check out the lemon salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> they looked like they were a little more modern. But some Pyrex pieces in here. Some different canisters. Recipe boxes, plates, trays towels oh my gosh I love this piece look at that cake holder that you could bake a cake and put it in to take to someone's house who even does that anymore <laughs> and just go buy one right <laughs> they had great you know some useful stuff um there's some containers there I love these vases I'm pretty sure that's a whole piece uh, but the color was really pretty. The spatterware there is beautiful. I like the way they color code, coded things. This glass was interesting. It says, they died when they were in their boots. <laughs> okay. Dodge City. Down this hallway, I really liked the way they utilized the space to display things. Uh, so there was like a ledge, but they also hung things on the wall. This little cutie planner caught my eye. He was so cute. It says he has a chip in the back. So let's take a look at him and see. Oh yeah. Yeah. He has a hunk out towards the bottom. And then I think the other white part uh, was a glaze mess from the manufacturing I couldn't read any maker's mark on the bottom of him um, but he was sweet as could be and this bright bird planter or vase actually caught my eye it was Noritake the colors and graphics on it were really good 
um, very unusual. It was on the smaller side, so I wasn't quite sure, but it would have made a great piece to just kind of pluck in there in your displays. Look at, look at all the stuff hanging on the walls. Like I just, they really use the hallway space in a wonderful way to keep it interesting and pull you back towards the booze in the back. This little dish with the bird handle caught my eye. I really thought he was unusual. It was small, occupied Japan, great coloring, uh, just a cute little piece. There were lots of small figurines to take a look at on this shelf. Really great variety, cute stuff. I like how some of the things they put cardboard backs on and put them in sleeves. What's this down here? Some beaded necklaces. The colors are good. Uh, it says on the label that repairs needed to both. So we're going to think about them. Up here we have some jewelry. Again, great display, you know, great use of space for display. Um, cute pieces, nothing really grabbed me. So we're going to go back towards the back half of this side of the store. And this booth had plenty in it which I love. So let's see what we can find. And straight off the bat, I see jewelry. So I'm always taking a look. Those are so cute. Those umbrellas are adorable. I really like those and I normally find them with the paint all worn off. So that was in great shape. And then look at this rhinestone piece. How glittery and pretty is that? Uh, I didn't see a maker's mark on it, but for the price on both of those, I really like them. Uh, cattails. Mm. This ring is cool. I'm pretty sure it's a mood ring. It does have some wear on the bottom. And sometimes the adjustables don't hold up as well. Because they've been moved uh, back and forth so much. So we'll think about that. Oh, it's a little koala bear in glass. So cute. I couldn't find any maker's mark on this, so I'm unsure of the age, uh, and he was clear, but he was cute. There's some stuff hanging. Look at this. That is one heck of a necklace there, people. That is Mr. T coming at you in rhinestones, right? <laughs> All kinds of stuff to see up here on the wall. They just had great displays. Um, they had mugs. You saw some Reese's. So looking through this as we come around, you will see they definitely, again, we are near Hershey, Pennsylvania. So we do a lot of times see advertising for Hershey uh, as dealers know tourists are coming through. So they definitely, you know, see, put that stuff out. So if somebody wants to take souvenirs home, Maybe not just from the park, but uh, locally, it's always fun to see that. Moving across the aisle to the next booth, these look pretty interesting. I I wasn't sure, were like they mushrooms? Were they a hut? They are signed. They look like an artisan piece. They had a really good look to them. I uh, just liked, like kind of that texture, uh, pottery stoneware coming through. The dealer did mark them as mushrooms, which made sense to me. I just thought they had a different look to them. Let's see what else they have in here. Oh, cute littles up here on the shelf. Some wades, some elephants birds those birds are so cute the colors are great a deer oh this guy's a 
adorable. Look at the green on him. I don't see many green birds. It is marked Japan. Uh, the big black mark was actually them <laughs> marking over the original price, which kind of cracked me up. Um, but it was the original stamp of the price tag. I like the flowers on that metal container. That was a really great display piece. Some more kitchenware. Um... Look at all the elephants down here. What's this guy? Back here. Oh, I don't know. I think he might be a little more modern. But he is cracking me up with his glasses. How cute is he? Oh my gosh. He made me chuckle. That's a cute little pink elephant planter. I always like the elephants. Then they had all the roosters on this shelf. Some other display pieces. Croc with some utensils. They had a great display on the wall here with all the plates. I mean, you could display them like that in your house, right? With like the gallery wall, but with plates instead. And I like the way they hung up some of those purses there. That was a neat way to display them. Cute little picnic basket there. And that lamp is really neat. Look at the captain there. And the shade was really cool with the ship on it. Over in the next booth, I spotted a whole shelf full of fun. Look at all this colored glass. Oh my goodness. I, I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> this piece is amazing. The amber to opalescence. I believe this was a lily of the valley. Uh, that's what it said on the tag and it looked right to me. Pretty sure this is Fenton. I just let, I mean, this looks like root beer to me. Um, I love this. Uh, beautiful, beautiful vase. It was priced at $35. i am not sure how much room is left on it at that. But, oh my goodness. I, I was almost tempted to start a collection. But we don't need another collection, guys. <laughs> this piece back here was so pretty. I think it was a little more modern. But it had glitter in it. And the turquoise with, like, the lavender and the cream color with gold glitter was just a beautiful combination. Of course, any of the stretch vases um, and swung vases are just incredible. And it's always great to see a, a larger amount of them together like this. It's just so impressive. Even this milk glass piece, the mouth on it was so unusual. I really liked that piece as well. Most of them were priced closer to retail. Uh, so for me to resale, there wasn't a ton of room, but... I just had fun admiring them, to be honest with you guys. Like, it's not often anymore that you see that many out in a shop. And they were just a really, it was a really cool display. They had some moon and stars down here. That amber compote with the ruffle was so pretty. Behind it was a Fenton painted, uh, I think it had painted roses. But that was a Fenton piece back there. Um, they, yeah, there was just so much glass. I was having a ball looking through all of this. The beautiful vases, oh, the amberina and the oranges. Oh my, the baskets. They had a bunch of these smaller, uh, hobnail Fenton, uh, stretch vases, which were really cute. I really... I was really enjoying myself here. I was like, oh my gosh. Great display. Um, yeah, just a beautiful display. So we're going to turn around and admire it one more time before moving on. On the other side of this booth, they had a showcase full of all kinds of interesting things. I love these paperweights with the fish suspended in them. They look like they're floating and swimming through there. Um, they were really cool. 
This piece caught my eye with the beautiful turquoise. Oh my gosh, with the gold. It, they called it a peacock uh, vase. I don't remember if there was a name on it, but it was just a stunning piece. Absolutely beautiful. Going up to the next shelf, I was scanning over and that is a Fenton butterfly. It said I've never seen a Fenton butterfly before. It was so pretty. There's so much to look at in these cases. Oh my gosh. The glass fish was really cool. They have this really pretty vase right here. Panning up to a jack and pulpit. I love that yellow with the green. Oh my. And the bowl in the back. Uh, figuring. Oh my gosh. Just so, so much to see. So many cool things. Um, I did spot a fairy lamp. Very cool. Amber. It was 25. I wasn't... I didn't think there was much room on that, so I did leave it behind. The moon and stars compote bowl there and the amberina is just that. They did. They knew how to do the amberina right. Look at this display above this cabinet. I literally was... I didn't even know what to say. This cat was huge. I, it had to have been close to three feet. I love it. The That's got to be, I'm pretty sure, an Empoli bottle. This cabinet was probably at least six feet tall. So I did not reach up to get anything down just because I didn't want to drop anything or fall into anything and destroy the place. But these bottles were just all, they were all probably easily... Uh, two and a half, three feet tall, if not more, and they were just impressive. Even up there, I mean, you can see this purple bottle. I've never seen anything like that. That thing was ginormous. It was so cool to look at and so neat to see in person. Um, just some great pieces up there. Just, just absolutely stupendous. Super exciting to see that stuff, you know, live and in person. Next, I found some mushrooms. <laughs> they were in a cabinet. And look at that big-eyed cat. Oh, those things are always so cute. Again, more glass on top of this cabinet. I mean, just impressive the amount of glass they had. I always, um, I always love the colors in all of these. This was a satin blue bowl piece. Of course, you can never go wrong with some bittersweet, right? Um... That was just, I, I'm a sucker for the bittersweet. But I don't need to be collecting anything else. So, we'll keep it moving with some colorful brandy sniffers. I always love adding those into displays. You can put Christmas balls in them. All kinds of fun stuff. Just all the colored glass was great to see in person. I love these vases here. All with the silver crest or the you know, different colored trims on top. I, I just, I think they're so impressive and really neat to, it was really cool to see them all together. They actually looked really good together, in my opinion. Keeping it moving. Some more baskets and glass. Just all the colors were great. Rounding the corner to the booth behind there. I wanted to see what they had. And this this piece caught my attention. Look at the shells. I'm pretty sure somebody actually handmade this. Looks like an old cigar box that they put paper in um, and lined. And then did shells and mercury beads. It was a really neat neat piece. I, I love stuff like that, that someone took the time to make that. Um, just always, always impresses me. Some pottery there and glass. I spotted some chalkware over here. She was giving me a look. <laughs> the girl was so cute. 
All right, guys, thanks so much for coming along with me. That was so much fun. What a cute store. I love the variety. They had so many nice things, vintage, antique, uh, newer stuff that even was so cute, great for gift ideas. Um, I only got through about half the store, so I'm definitely gonna need to come back and get through the other half. Um, but I was, I, I came here in the afternoon, so I definitely need to come back a little earlier. Um, I forgot that it was this big. My bad. <laughs> but anyway, we will definitely be back at Schoolhouse Antiques for part two because they had adorable stuff. I really, the glass I found, oh my gosh, can you guys even believe all those vases? Oh, so pretty. Anyway, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in and sticking with uh, my little video here. I really appreciate it. Um, on your way out, please give the video a thumbs up and a like. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We are growing our channel um, and trying to do more content. So if you like this video and you enjoy tagging along with me today, feel free to, to subscribe. Some days I can talk to subscribe to our channel. It is free and it will keep you notified of all the fun stuff I have up my sleeve. So thank you so much, everybody. We really appreciate um, just all the support. So thanks so much, guys. Go outside, get some sunshine, and go have yourself a great day, folks. Thanks.